Hey, Jameer, we've seen a lot of different formations this year where you're sometimes in the backfield, sometimes you're split out wide. Would, would, have you ever done that before, and how do you feel from coming from you know, maybe a slot position? Yeah, I've done that uh, since high school. I had to play a lot of receiver, so, and at Tech, I played a little slot, so I was pretty used to it coming in now. Front row here on the left, Mark. Kind of piggybacking off that question, you really stepped up in the game as a receiver. Bryce Young had that incredible run after he avoided that rush. What do you say about the offensive versatility that you guys showed this weekend? Uh, I think we did a pretty good job, but we always have uh, stuff we need to work on. And then we'll just get back in the field room and improve this week. Right back in the Jamir, same question uh, I just asked your teammate there. Just how much motivation do you guys draw from being knocked down from number one to number two in the AP poll? Is that something that you guys can use to fuel you the rest of the season? Uh, I haven't really thought about it too much. Uh, I'm just worried about uh, getting better as a team, taking every game step by step and just going off from there. Last slide, baby. What do you think changed uh, in the fourth quarter from the three uh, previous, I think, five straight three and outs you guys had? Like, what changed that got you guys, got you guys going late? Yeah, it's just uh, fear of losing. You know, we don't like to lose. So uh, we just, two minute drill, we practice it every day. So we're pretty prepared for that. So, yeah. I realize Jace was the one who had that long touchdown, but what can you guys, in terms of the way that was blocked, the way that he ran, can you you guys can build on in, as a running game? Oh yeah, we yeah we can improve on that uh, tremendously. You know, we all have stuff to work on, so we will just get back and uh, keep working on it. Jamil, you talked about just the brotherhood of the running back room. So when you see Jace, who had an injury last year, break a run like that, and him being from Texas, how hype was the running back room to see him break oh, yeah. that run? Yeah, we was lit. Uh, <laughs> it was a, it was an exciting moment for him. I was like, I was so happy for him. Uh, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what to say. It was it was cool though. Hi, Jameer. So I know uh, outside of your guys' room, there was a lot of expectation coming into this game that you guys just played. But I want to know, just for the adversity that you guys are seeing so early in the season and overcoming that in such a close win, how important do you think that's going to play for the rest of the season for you guys? Uh, I think uh, preparation will be key. Um, just getting better every week. Just uh, staying in the full room, practicing hard as we always do, and just, uh, you know, uh, I was the word. Uh, you know, just playing, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> All right, Charlie. Watching Bryce go through two minutes, really just the fourth quarter in general, just what was it like to, to watch that? And, and do you see that in practice a lot, just him kind of when you go to two minute locking in and be able to make plays like that? Oh, yeah, we see it. We see it every day. Uh, he was um, always calm. He knows how to uh, he knows how to lead the team, keep everybody else calm around him, and just make plays. He does what Bryce does. Kind of touching on that, what's your vantage point on the touchdown catch, your touchdown catch? Uh, and, and do you ever kind of look at Bryce and just kind of get amazed when that he gets the ball off in situations like that? Yeah, at first I didn't think he was going to throw it because of the angle he had. But once he threw it, I was like, I was like, oh, it's not coming to me. But, uh, yeah, it was a great throw by him. That's why he was the Heisman Trophy winner last year. He could do stuff like that. All right, a few more questions. Start in the middle. Just want to talk about the the wide receivers as a whole. Like, what are you seeing out of the, them in practice each day, and and you know, on, and their ability to make big plays? Yeah, the receiving the receiving core they're stepping up a lot. Uh, they make plays every day. They uh, they do a great job playing without the ball. Like on uh, Jay's touchdown, you see uh, Jermaine. Uh, he came in. He can He comes in. Uh, cracks the safety for Jace to open up that hole. So they're doing a great job. All right, couple follows. We'll finish. Uh, Michael in the middle here. I know you've caught a lot of passes in the past. Have you ever had a nine catch game like you did on Saturday? And did it feel like you were pretty involved in that passing game for the first three nine, quarters? Uh, I don't know about nine. I probably had like five or something like that, like in college, but not nine. All right, we'll finish up with here. What are you guys trying to do to make sure that you're more disciplined and minimize penalties uh, this next game? Uh, I guess it starts by being discipline, you know, uh, Texas, that a that a uh, great environment, but we just gotta get uh, we gotta get used to it, you know.